So recently I learned about shrink e dinks or magical shrink plastic sheets and I had to order them to try them out. And so I ordered this magical shrink plastic sheets from Amazon and then I got this from Michaels. And so basically what you do is you use markers, colored pencils, paint on the sheets and you can draw whatever you want and when you're finished with it you stick it on a baking sheet, stick it in the oven, it shrinks and when you take it out of the oven you can make it into earrings, keychains, pins, anything that you really want to make them into. And so for the magical shrink plastic sheets this is what it looks like. This side is pretty much smooth and glossy and this side is frosted. And so the frosted side is the side you draw or paint on. And I think it's pretty fun. You can cut them however you want to cut them. What I've been doing with mine is I've been turning the pictures I've been taking of my cats into pins. And it's really, really fun. So here are all the shrinky dinks that I've made. I've added thumbtacks to the back of them with Gorilla Glue. And I stuck them all on this board. So the ones up here in the corner are really my first tries with it. So as you can see, like him, he kind of bubbles up and I didn't leave him in the oven long enough. And so, you know, when you're first starting things, you don't always know how they work or you're not very good at it. So the more you do something, the better you get. So here's a closer look at the pins. So most of them, I think, turned out wonderful. So like I said in the last video that you couldn't really see, I didn't leave him in the oven long enough, so he's kind of bubbled up and everything. Um, my sister's cat, Ella, right here, when she went in the oven, she was a lighter color. And, of course, when you take it out of the oven, it dark darkens up, so that one's not the best looking one. This is one of my favorites. And here's another one that didn't really turn out very well. I used the wrong marker to do Casper stripes, so when he came out of the oven, he looks really, really dark. So he really honestly looks more like Pee Wee. And one of the only complaints I have about using the pins is that you can see them a little bit. But other than that, when you look at it from far away, if you're not looking for the pins, I think they look super cute. And I have a lot more room to keep making them, and I'm excited to keep taking pictures and turning more pictures into shrinky dinks.